Hey guys, I'm out here doing a little porting on these cylinder heads. Want to give you an update on what I was trying to do and how I was getting it done. Um, you can see where I had already done a rough cut trying to reduce the profile of this valve guide boss, but you can see how utterly rough that is. And that's, you know, part of that is tool control. And when you're using a 3 8 single cut, burr on a six inch shank it is really hard to control it from bouncing around and jumping around um, if you have leather gloves thick heavy leather work gloves you can kind of grab that six inch shank in the middle and use a two-handed procedure to kind of control it a little bit better uh, with my current uh, limitations that's not really a good option for me but I want you guys to see what I was doing because when you come from this side, when you come from the exit side of the port in is the way you want to try to reduce this valve guide boss. And basically what I'm doing is using the 3 8 cutter or burr. I have switched to a double cut burr. Let me clean some of this grease off so you can see it. So what I'm doing is, is I'm coming in right beside this thing and pulling into the guide like because i need to widen this area to where all that black carbon and oil and all that junk is removed if you see it down in those crevices this will this will eventually go down small enough and this will be worked back just a hair that that over here to one that's already been worked so you can see what i'm talking okay, guys as you can see on this exhaust port that I've already brought down the valve guide and you can see how much smoother this texture is with the double cut burr but you can see how I have re reduced the radius or the size of the valve guide boss where that 3 8 tool can sit right down in this valley on both sides and then I blend it up into the walls all the way to the opening of the port Remember what I said, funnel porting does no good. Opening up the half inch to three quarters of an inch of this outer edge doesn't gain you any power. What you have to do is create your raised roof and blend it all the way into to the back of the port where it goes into your bowl blend. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying because you're gonna basically open this up on the top two thirds of the port and whatever you remove you're gonna rate you're gonna carry that work all the way back into the bowl then you're gonna also reduce of course reduce your valve guide boss and you'll be able to see it a lot more when we get an angle coming from the bowl how much that thing how much the profile of this valve guide boss has been uh, reduced it will go down a little more after the sanding roll work but I just wanted you guys to get a visual representation of what shape, sorry about that, what shape I'm going for as far as that valve guide boss. So let me get a little bit more work done and we'll take another look. Okay guys, there's the very first port I showed you that had the really super rough uh, single cut burr marks on the, oh, the front of this guide boss. So you can see where the double cut burr is able to smooth those out. You can see where I've uh, opened up both sides of the guide to the 3 8 cutter. And this is done on both sides. I'm trying to keep my hand out of the way. And you can see where I brought it all the way to the entrance or the exit of the port and worked it all the way back to the bowl all of this has worked both sides you know and I, and I'll come out it'll end up being a little closer to this scribe line but I don't have to touch that line because this absolutely I don't want this to dump into the exhaust manifold I want it to be able to cleanly make that transition from the exhaust port into the manifold and or the header, you know, whatever ends up, you know, because I may not be the only one that ever owns this cylinder head, 
but I want to make sure that this thing dumps inside that factory manifold because that's what I'm going to be running, especially on the turbo setup, because I'll be having my I'll have modified factory manifolds as my turbo hot side. So I just want you guys to see how much better that looks once you start using your double cut burr. And then you know some people run them like this. I've mentioned in previous videos you can run ahead with this uh, surface texture, but naturally that's not a complete good as it can be texture so I'm going to work it a little bit more with sanding rolls and different uh, abrasives but I just want you guys to see how you start with your three quarter and just carry it all the way in reduce that valve guide boss widen it here you're actually narrowing the, the valve guide boss and opening this wall a little bit it's a combination of the two that way you don't end up with a trough you know you're not digging a deep trough on each side then you're going okay how am i supposed to smooth that out so like i always say go slow don't put in dips and ridges and ruffles none of that weird crap that you can't get out because you know everybody's gonna know you messed it up so stay tuned let's see what else we can get done okay guys i've got both the roof and the floor of the exhaust port exit completed so now I have to go in here and do the back wall which is not the short turn of the exhaust bowl and then uh, it'll be time to move over and do the finishing touches on the intake sorry about the bouncy camera I'm trying to hold on to the tripod but let me see what else I can get done here. okay guys I wanted to give you a little bit more update um, the exhaust ports are completely ported. They have not been finished textured. So I moved over and started working on the intake bowls with the double cut burr, doing a little bit better blend on the bowl cut and a little bit finer, smoother shaping on the actual valve guide boss. Uh, I'm running out of time because I got to run to my son's track meet. So. I will pick this up when I get back, but I just thought you guys would find this kind of interesting. You know, these things are coming, they're coming along. They're doing pretty good. I'm really happy with the exhaust port. Um, they, you know, I'll give a little bit of a close up on that here in a little bit, because I think you guys will really like the way those turned out. But, just takes time guys, hang tight.